Good day, good day! Welcome to Roverland, the channel that is about anything and everything Land Rovers. <laughs> this is your friend Dan O. How the hunk are ya? <laughs> hey, I got something interesting today. Uh, we're putting uh, Hot Wheels and uh, Matchbox aside for a moment, and we're going to be looking at these. I got quite a few. Well, I got a couple. <laughs> well, what do you think it is? Do you think you have an idea what it is? Bam! Well, let's uh, turn it right side up. <laughs> we are looking at a Land Rover EL66 from Pola Steel. Pola Steel, yes, I believe that's how you uh, say that. I am not fluent in Italian. Because this is made in Italy, Pola Steel. Yes, very interesting. This, by the way, is the first one that I ever had acquired. I did not know anything about this brand. I had no idea it existed. Uh, I bought this at a, uh, like a flea market, um, swap meet, and uh, actually it suffers from a little damage. The wheels like to uh, go up into the, the bodywork because you can see that the interior is kind of kind of coming up. Yeah, so I, I don't know really exactly how it clips in there. I kind of poked around a little bit about on it, but uh, well, there you go. So it has opening doors. Very neat opening doors. It is a left hooker, so. Pretty interesting there. It is a Series 3. It has uh, lens details inserted in there. Uh, it is uh, missing a piece there also. The bumper is supposed to go all the way across. But a nice little red enamel truck. It's got a safari roof to it with the vents. Very nice detail. There we are, right, right side hooker, as I said, or left side. I said left hooker. Never mind what I said. <laughs> All right, but very nice detailed series vehicle. Very, very nice. So like I said, this was the first one I ever found. Uh, and I, I just was, I, and I don't think I paid all that much, less than $10, I think. And that's what tickled me as well, is something that I had never seen before or had. And uh, so then I did a little research. So I'm going to put this one down while we talk research. And I'll pick up this one, because this was the next one that I bought. I bought this one off of eBay. It was different color. It was in, in near mint shape. So I said, hey, I'm, I'm going to buy one of these so I've got something a little bit more hardier and uh, not so, but a different variety. So let's talk a little bit about Pola Steel. Uh, 1960s was, uh, and I, I got this off uh, Wikipedia, the information I'm going to share with you. Uh, uh, Pola Steel Pedia, Wikipedia, uh, this one's got a little bent bent axles on the front there but otherwise it's in cherry condition uh, so anyway 1960s headquarters in Milan uh, Italy specializing in uh, die cast and plastic models of all sizes uh, 33 years went along and then in uh, the next uh Evolvement or evolution to Pastille is they collaborated with Tonka here in the States. And then Pastille uh, actually went out of business in 1993. But now they have been uh, resurrected or whatnot through the May, through a company from Japan, the May Zhong Group. Uh, Chong, Chiang, C H E O N G, May as in the month, Chiang, or Maisto, known as Maisto. So Maisto has taken over, and Maisto is a pretty good little company. They're uh, 
not um, A-list actors. There are probably a C and B actors in the in the uh, diecast world here in the United States. We don't get a lot of maestos, and usually they're a little bit cheaper uh, build, but not really. But anyway, so in uh, uh, 2014, they relaunched um, the the May Chung Group, Chiang, uh, re re uh, booted the pastel pastel uh, group, and they do more slot cars, RC, die cast, uh, more dis- construction, and uh, things like that, and uh, Formula One. So, there we go. Um, interestingly enough, the Asian toys uh, companies have resurrected two of the uh, Italy-built brands. Uh, this one in particular, and the Burago, Burbago, uh, that are now made in China and uh, uh, not in Italy. But... Uh, there you go. So what we're looking at is the Land Rover, uh, as we saw there, the EL66. And these were, you know, made, um, I, I want to say, 143rd scale. And um, just uh, really kind of neat. They, they've got few variations. Um, one of the things is I, I found interesting, and I almost bought... Um, there was a lot of details. This one here, uh, I bought this one on eBay as well. Uh, someone did some uh, little uh, customizing on the lights back there. That's all right. That's all right. It's a toy. Enjoy. But this one has uh, sports a rear tire on the back, which the uh, other ones didn't. I think this is a later model, uh, to tell you the truth. Still has the opening doors. Um... But still very nice. Uh, but this I saw on eBay in a package, and it was called Weekend. And there was quite a few variations uh, with the roof rack and things like that uh, with this model. I it, it did finally get out of uh, my price range. They're all pretty basically the same on the bottom. They didn't really change anything throughout the years. But there was some variations, this different coloring of these uh, containers on top, the gas. Uh, but yeah, so really kind of neat, really kind of neat. Um, I really think this is a really cool model. Uh, coming from Italy is, is a plus, really kind of neat. Normally they are attached to uh, a base in a shadow box is kind of how they were uh, um, sold. And so I believe this is the last of the uh, the run for them. They they really got into uh, putting these roof racks on, and and their whole other lines that they had. And we'll talk about that too. Oh, my spare tire finally fell off. I knew it might. Yeah, there we go. Get that back in there. Be careful of that. That's. A- that's delicate. <laughs> All right. So anyway, so that was my uh, Defenders, or uh, the Series 3, excuse me, uh, Series Land Rovers. Very, very nice. Uh, I'm glad I have uh, three different uh, uh, variations of that. The last one that I bought, I believe, uh, was this one here. And I, I believe I got this one on eBay as well. And as we could tell, this is a Range Rover. And uh, we'll take a look at the base real quick so we get that uh, important information out of the way. And now this is going to be in the 70s because British Leland owned Land Rover uh, there in the 70s. Uh, Range Rover, Pastel, Pastille, uh, made in Italy. Uh, this is a EL79. Uh, I'm not sure what the 577 uh, stands for. I, don't, I wonder if that's... Uh, fifth month 1977 you know I just had that thought wonder if that's their coding 177 I'm not sure I'm not sure no that can't be anyway uh, very interesting they use they use the same kind of wheels uh, that's really kind of neat so if you see those wheels you know that's kind of uh, uh, you know 
Allen Park, Michigan. Check that out. I didn't realize that said that. Hey, shout out to uh, Colin over there in Michigan. <laughs> All right, well, here you go. This one, they drill a hole in the top there, and they put a little beacon on it. Also, a um, left hooker. Doors open on this. Nice and plastic. I mean, the interior on this is just as accurate as the real model. Uh, I don't really catch it there, but it does have some... Uh, some detailing. I want to get on that uh, that inner door panel there. There's some detailing on the inner door panel. It's kind of hard to see there, but uh, that's the only opening part uh, is the doors, which happen to say fire rescue on them. Uh, the, no rear uh, opening hatch, uh, tailgates, nice Range Rover embossed in the back. Filler cap there, North American style. <laughs> but uh, just a very, very nice truck. I, I really appreciate having this one in my collection. Also, it has the old standard uh, front end. It's got embossed on the uh, nose, Road Ranger. R <laughs> Range Rover. Did I say Road Ranger? <laughs> All right, but anyway, so it's got the inserted uh, glass uh, or, or plastic inserts there for the headlights, which is a very nice detail. Now this model here also came out with some different variations uh, where they took this top over here and they mounted it on this. And one of them is like a canoe and paddle. Uh, they also did a red, uh, a, a white model with uh, the red, red cross on it. Or yeah, on it. So that's kind of a... Uh, variation and then they also did stock models like a plane no no uh, beacon on the top no stickers just a plain uh, color I think I saw a blue one and uh, a nice green green one but there you go so very very interesting uh, this is a the only one uh, Range Rover that I have I do have these several other uh, Defenders, let me show you another one. Um, I happen to pick this up. I picked this up after um, I picked up the red one. I, you know, I go all over the place and I look for stuff. This is another model of theirs. What is a Citron? And uh, and I pick it up because you know there's other collectors that collect other oddball and weird stuff. Now this is just the body and barely the wheels. But anyway, I I have this in my. Uh, uh, Stuff that I take to, to trade shows and, and uh, swap meets and stuff like that, just in case, you know, somebody uh, is interested in something like this. Uh, or if I get another model like this that needs wheels, I can swap it. But right now, but this had, uh, the Citroen had a black top and they, and they put a lot of these uh, different variations of uh, roof racks on them and stuff like that. It had a windshield. I don't believe it was per se removable, but it was kind of neat. But it's got a little windshield in there. But anyway, so that's another one of their models I just happen to have. Uh, like I say, just as a, a side note there. <laughs> but anyway, how many of these little buggers do you got? Huh? Are they prevalent in the UK? Do you guys have them over there? Do you have them uh, in Australia, down under? Where are these? Or were these mainly in the, uh, in the United States or just in the UK over there? Uh, in uh, Italy and such and so forth, you know. Um, I really like this. It's a pretty neat collection. I put these in a, a separate cabinet that I have uh, behind glass. And uh, really cool. I really like this uh, root beer brown. Really a sharp truck. All right. Well, that's what we have today. Pull a steel. I think them saying that right. Pull a steel. Uh, from your friend Dano to you. <laughs> All right, friends, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.